Yeah, I'm in my Airbnb. Let y'all look around the room a little bit. A little smaller studio. And um, I just want to discuss like the difference in the women in Africa versus the USA. <clears throat> and just from experience, it's like, you know, when you come over here to Africa, especially like you don't like, especially like you on the ground, you're not like in tourist areas and you really are mingling with the locals. And one thing that hit you coming from uh, coming from America is that, you know, you'll be like, like the women so approachable. You know, you can actually approach women in public again, like without without feeling like, okay, she's looking mean or, or she's on her phone or, she looks unapproachable. She she just look like she might just snap if you say the wrong if you just say something to her. It's not like they here. Whether you in a uh, you could be in a restaurant, the mall, just walking down the street, you know, wherever you at, and a little bug flying around. But wherever you at, you can just step to her and just it's my genuinely like without really like not not spitting game and like just genuinely stepping to her like, hey, how you doing? Um, how you doing? You know, my name says says what's your name? You know, are you single? Boom. As soon as you say she's single, you know, like, do you got WhatsApp? Cause WhatsApp like a popular app they use here. So, and boom, it's on. You see what I'm saying? Like, 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 and you know, the, the 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 whole headache just go out the window. And you know, they don't ask you to take them out on out to eat. You know, if you take them out to eat, that's a plus. Not saying you won't do it, but it's like it's not like a mandatory thing. And it it actually had you like you know what let me take her out to eat <laughs> you feel me let me take her uh you know take her somewhere you, you be on spent time with me like during she didn't even question she didn't even mention about spending a lot of money on her, you know some I like some I like to drink wine you know match you know like she might ask you for a little bottle of wine if she drink you feel me like a little fifteen dollar bottle of wine or something but a bottle of wine hey. That bottle of wine might, hey, the night might go well, well, go real well. You feel me? Might bring a side of out. <laughs> so, yeah, I recommend brothers to leave America and just, you know, come to Africa. You feel me? Like, you're going to get a whole different version of a black woman. You're going you to get a black woman that likes stealing her natural state, like stealing her natural mindset. Uh, now, you would now. You will, depending on where you at, you can find some that still had that, that that that's been influenced by the Western world. But the majority overall, even even those will be you know cool to hang with, blah blah blah. But you don't want to get the one like like for like if you're trying to like marry or something like that. But the but the majority gonna be real real cultured, you know. Still, you still you know still have fun, still go out whatever. whatever. But they had a culture about them. So I recommend brothers, you know, come get Africa to try on the dating scene. You feel me? Because it's not going to disappoint you. You know, choose the country you want to go to. I would recommend Kenya, um, Gambia, um, I, I won't want to say, I'm in Tanzania now. I wouldn't say Tanzania. If, if you come to Tanzania, you know, I will recommend Tanzania, but don't come, don't, when you come to Tanzania, don't get on the dating app. Don't don't get on Tinder or nothing like that. If you're going to meet a female, meet a female on the ground out in public. That, that's the best way to meet them because if you meet the women on Tinder, they on Tinder, um, like prostituting, you feel me? You got a lot of women in Tanzania prostituting. So, but yeah, definitely get you one on the ground. Get you one that works. That's, that's the main thing. Get you one that got a job. Or some kind of business going on in Tan dealing with Tanzania, but in Kenya, I, I recommend you go to Kenya or, or Ghana, you know, something like that. But so yeah though, um but yeah, Africa is definitely definitely um the way to go. You know, these women not argumentative, they not uh they submissive, they cook clean, 
without complaining. They don't look at it like it like 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 it made them a slave. Um, you know, they're appreciative. And a lot of women, like, when you come to Africa, you realize a lot of them don't even make enough money. Like, <clears throat> they can work at a restaurant. They could be the, the cook, waiter, or whatever. Um, they still won't make enough money to be able to afford to eat at that restaurant. You understand me? And and, and that's, the, that's the sad point. And a lot of them got potential. You see a lot of potential, a lot of, you know, but some of them just lack that look competitive edge that we that we come from with America, especially those of us who got businesses in America. So these women, you know, they appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? And um it's 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 good, like they got a business, it's good to support it. You know, and um so yeah, I can't speak on Kenya, Gambia and uh, Tanzania, you know. But like I said, with Tanzania don't come with the dating apps. They I don't I know, maybe use some other kind of app, but don't use Tinder. I know that from experience. But, but yeah, definitely African women is definitely way. These women, um, they know how to have fun. They, they got a personality. Like the conversation is different because you, you can actually talk to them about anything, and 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 and, and it'll be receptive. You know, someone could be real shy. They still being receptive, even though you might be have to do all the talking. But they they still like you. St like the man still like in the leadership role. You understand me? So. If you if what you're saying makes sense and you got any if you got this much guidance or direction about yourself, the woman gonna follow and submit to it. You feel me? She already submissive. That's the thing about it. Like in like the American woman say, if a man doing what he's supposed to do or whatever the case is, then I'd be submissive to him. Okay. Over here, the women are already submissive. <laughs> so when the man step in. The natural order back in this uh in this natural state. Like a man ain't gotta do nothing to make a woman become submissive. She already submissive. So yeah. So yeah, brothers. I would definitely um recommend you come into the motherland. Come get you one of these queens. You got all complexion, brown skin, light skin, vanilla, um, chocolate. You know, got all flavors. I mean, you can research each country. You know, and um, and you'll find a one for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, these women are looking for a good man. You know, a good man they can teach them things, guide them, direct them. You will find no women here. You know, they'll be appreciative of what you could bring to the table. So yeah, um, so yeah, brother, come get you one. You don't take my word for it. Come and hit the ground. Um, you know, follow me on more YouTube. I gotta drop more content that I recorded on there. You know, we trying to travel and drop content, then um, you know, it's time consuming, but you know, try to get that content out there though. But yeah, y'all brothers hold it down out there and definitely get Africa a try.